when I first watched Sword Art Online, I was so amazed by the whole virtual reality aspect. The idea that you could go into any world you wanted to was such an appealing dream for my little teenage mind. And it also made me insanely jealous. I wanted to play and live in worlds like this. So it's not surprising that the whole lit RPG genre now exists to explore this concept. This brings me to Eternum. Yes, it is a visual novel, but the world building and storytelling make it feel like I'm playing inside a lit RPG novel. I have had so much fun exploring this game, and I don't think a visual novel has given me this much excitement in a long time. The story is centered around the virtual reality MMORPG Eternum. You have just arrived in the United States on a student exchange program from the United Kingdom and won a neural implant and headset that allows you to join the world of Eternum. Since then, you have been completely absorbed in exploring new servers, getting stronger, and collecting rare and unique items. You also have this unknown Mary Sue power that you are training to better control. It's honestly scary to see how strong you can become in just a few months. I mean, what is this? The Force Awakens? Gameplay-wise, this is a visual novel, with some free-roaming elements and time-based choices. There is also a love interest gallery where you can view each of the romanceable characters' profiles, as well as a list of the locked and unlocked scenes. These scenes can also be organized and replayed based on flavor and love interest. Almost every sexual interaction and romantic path is optional. If you decide to not follow a character's path, their photo will be grayed out and you can no longer access them in the gallery. As for the flavors you will see, this is a mostly male heterosexual harem with toys, voyeurism, power exchange, outfits, and I expect the potential harem interactions to expand as development continues. Visually, Eternum is amazing. There are a ton of animated scenes throughout the game that help with the pacing and the story, including many of the sexual interactions with sound. The in-game music covers a large number of genres, and there is a wide selection of soundtracks to keep you immersed. This is why the closure of Illusion is so sad. Will we see games like this in the future without tools like Honey Select 2? The story is truly where Eternum shines. There are a number of existential themes and crises that emerge that remind me of Cyberpunk 2077 and Ready Player One. Eternum asks the question, what is the line between healthy exploration and escapism? I mean, if that isn't a meta question for the adult gaming space, I don't know what is. Sex positive gaming is all about the safe and healthy exploration of sex and sexuality in video games. What exactly is safe and healthy? I mean, I know that YouTube seems to think that anything past hand-holding is an abomination, but for the rest of us non-billionaire, non-sociopaths, I think that exploring the facets and flaws of the human condition makes us stronger and healthier as a society. And as with most good fiction, Eternum helps us explore this, and maybe helps us learn more about ourselves along the way. I loved playing Eternum. Which is not that surprising given that I also loved playing the developer's previous game, Once in a Lifetime. It was my favorite game for 2021, and Eternum is a frontrunner for my favorite game for whatever year it will finish in. I highly recommend this to anyone who enjoys a good story and doesn't hate visual novels. Eternum is available for free for PC, Mac, Linux, and Android on their Patreon and itch.io. Seriously, try out this game. Until next time, no shaming, just gaming. Thanks to all this month's support on Patreon. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you all. 